So I came to Panama all by myself and I pretty much hated it. I made it to the airport, just spit it on myself. First half an hour down, still uh, 23 hours to go. I shouldn't even say that loud because it kind of makes me nervous. So I just went for security, the line was insane. Even though it's 5 a.m. Yeah, it's, it's 5 a.m. So basically the game plan for today is flying to Amsterdam and that's a two hour flight and then I'm getting on the flight, the flight to Panama City. I'm very excited, but also not. I mean, it doesn't show right now because I'm, I'm very tired because it is 5 a.m. and I woke up at like 3.50. This is survival. I basically need to survive my way to Panama. I made it to Amsterdam and I just experienced where I survived let me call this a survival I just survived the coldest flight ever so this is the, the this is the current situation I'm wearing all the clothes that I own right now I mean I'm going to Panama right it's supposed to be warm I mean it will be warm the only reason why I brought the warm clothes with me is for the plane ride and also I'm kind of considering hiking a volcano that's that's why I brought the hat and the first thought I had in my head when I landed here in Amsterdam after two hours of this freezing cold plane ride was like I'm not hiking any volcano because I can imagine the volcano is gonna be even colder than this anyways I got myself some coffee to warm up and a sneakers even though I promised myself I'll stop eating candy but the first thing I did was get myself a piece of candy and now we have Three, four more hours at this beautiful airport. I'm saying beautiful, I don't actually mean it. I do not like this airport. The way I feel about Schiphol, I don't know how you pronounce it, it's kind of similar to the way I feel about Charles de Gaulle Airport in Paris. I do not like it. It's big, so many people, so crowded, messy. Uh, there's no good places to like chill really unless you pay for the lounge. I guess that's the point. So I've been at this airport for so long that I kind of already feel like I live here. It's been about four hours. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at my invisible watch. One of the big disadvantages of not living in a major city like Paris or Amsterdam or major city, not having a major airport, uh, is having to change. So when you think about it, I could have been like almost in Panama by now. I've been traveling since 4 a.m. this morning. I mean, traveling by taxi first and, you know, the whole thing. And it is, what is it now? It's almost 1 p.m. How many hours is it? It's like nine hours. I've been traveling for nine hours and the flight to Panama from Amsterdam is 11 hours. So I could have been, yeah, anyways, but I'm not. Uh, and I still have this like long ass flight in front of me and I'm getting to the point where I can start feeling the tiredness. I know I'm being a bit of a dubby downer and maybe for someone watching this, it might seem like I'm complaining which is also the case, I am complaining, uh, but it's okay, I don't really care. Um, I had a little, a little discussion, a little brainstorming session with myself before this trip, and I promised myself that if I'm gonna vlog, I'm just gonna vlog straight from my heart and I'm gonna talk about whatever I wanna talk about and not overthink it and not care too much and you know excuse myself and explain myself and put all these disclaimers that like you know I'm no I I am very grateful and I am very lucky that I even get the chance to travel so I shouldn't freaking complain about you know the flight being that long I mean I chose myself to go to Panama right and nobody forced me um, 
but I'm not gonna do that you know that's the reality of traveling is that it's nice to travel but the actual traveling that you know going to the airport flying going for security is freaking nightmare it's not that it's not pleasant it's a freaking nightmare at least for me and for majority of sane people there's nothing nice about it it's stressful it's you know difficult in a way that it's like exhausting for your body you're carrying your stuff they're heavy it's either super cold or super warm you have to walk a lot what I'm trying to say is I guess that a lot of people over glamorize or glamorize glamorize it's a very difficult word to pronounce people make it seem like traveling is fun but it's actually not it's not fun at all and also obviously I don't mean like traveling being in a new places once I get to Panama it's gonna be really fun but right now uh, sitting at the airport in Amsterdam for five hours I mean who, who in their right mind would say that it's fun it's not okay let's go we're finally boarding I'm one of the last people on this plane I was like I'm not getting on it before I have to get on it oh my god I'm so happy to board I have finally arrived and now it's time for my least favorite part of traveling pretty much taking a taxi from the airport to the hotel usually it's that part the very last part of the journey that causes the most trouble oh my god it is really warm so humid I successfully made it through immigration now let's see if I'll successfully manage to get a cab without getting ripped off I almost got ripped off in Warsaw last week at home so you know so I found this but no taxi so oh my god I just got in the cab please excuse my appearance but it is about 30 Celsius degrees outside and it's so humid so it was going really great until the taxi driver drove back to the airport I mean he made a circle and then he left he's I, I should have booked transport for the hotel I should have like I honestly I freaking promised myself that this is the last time I'm not booking transportation from airport okay now he's back so hopefully we'll make it Uh, so I have two things from kids menu. I made it to the hotel. Also, this room is very tired. Tired. I am very tired. <laughs> this room is very dark and I don't know how to make it lighter. I don't think I can. So this is the best we can do right now. Uh, the room is very nice though. Let me show you around real quick. Uh, there is a bed, little couch area, lots of mirrors for potential mirror selfies. And then there is a bath right here, bath bathroom. I can't even talk, like I can't even talk. We have a bathtub. You wanna hear a funny story? We're not so funny, but a story at least. So the story is that I was actually upgraded to a ocean view room. And then it turned out that the, the room had no bathtub. And I was so excited, obviously ocean view, great, right? Uh, we're right by the ocean here. But I just really need a bath after this very, very long flight. And I intentionally booked a very nice hotel. So I'm staying at Le Meridien, which is a five-star hotel. Um, I intentionally booked it because I really like staying in a nice hotel when I arrive in a new place. Especially if it's my first time, especially if I'm traveling alone. I think staying in a nice place just gives you this extra comfort and um it's kind of nice to treat yourself right if you watch my other videos you know that i really like to mix it up when i travel when it comes to hotels and on this trip i will be staying in five star hotels two star hotels hostels i will be staying in a dorm uh so yeah i like to mix it up with everything pretty much Ugh, i'm so tired i can't talk 
Uh, I had very ambitious plans of like going to the pool, going to the gym when I arrive in Panama. And it's definitely not happening. It will be great success if it, I will even manage to like take a bath. No, I will because I intentionally not took the upgrade to have a bathtub. So imagine if I wouldn't take the a bath now. Or maybe the word hate is a bit of an exaggeration, but I certainly did not enjoy traveling for 22 hours. I had two mini meltdowns. Um, traveling is not fun. That's the thing. That's the thing that not that many people talk about. And I realized I never actually like talked about it on my channel. Like I keep saying that I love traveling and that is partly true. But at the same time, I also fucking hate traveling. I love the part of traveling as if going to a new place, exploring a new country. I freaking love that, right? But I hate the part of getting there. But it is a new day and I am feeling much better. I slept for a very long time and I drank a lot of coffee and I am ready to explore Panama City and I'm so excited. I wanted to come here for so long. So I'll be in Panama for two weeks and I'll be backpacking all over the country. I'll be going to like five or six different uh, locations in Panama. And yeah, well, I am super excited to share my journey with you guys. So hopefully you stick around. Okay, I've got to go now, bye.